Hey guys, good evening or afternoon, depending on where you are in the country. Today, we're going to talk about um, Copaiba. Now, oftentimes people, whenever they get introduced to Young Living, they um, begin living the Young Lifestyle by purchasing the Premium Starter Kit. And this is because the Premium Starter Kit contains 11 different essential oils as well as a diffuser for um, diffusing your oils, or you can use your, your oils topically. Um, you can use your Vitality to oils internally. And so um, what's so awesome about this kit is by using these 11 different oils, you are able to support every body system um, that we have. And so it's a very comprehensive kit. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I mention the Premium Starter Kit, I'm going to put a link um, to, so you can just see what that looks like and what's included in the comments below. Now, some of the oils that come in this kit are um, a little more well-known. There's lemon and there's peppermint. There's lavender, right? Everybody loves lavender. It just smells like a spa. It's amazing. And then there are some blends and some other singles that maybe you're not as, um, as well versed with, all right? And so one of those might be Digis, maybe Thieves, um, a pan away. And then also there's one called Copaiba. And sometimes it takes a while to even learn how to say that, much less understand um, how we can use it. So I just want to go through Copaiba with you today and um, help you better understand this oil and how you can bless your family with it. So good evening. My name is Angela Weber. I'm an independent distributor with Young Living Essential Oils. I have a bachelor degree in biology with a short two-year stint as a middle school science teacher before becoming Becoming a stay-at-home homeschool mom and I have a passion for taking um, big complicated ideas and breaking them down into easy to understand bits and pieces so that you will be empowered with the information that you need in order to make decisions to support your family's health and wellness goals. So tonight we're going to be talking about Copaiba. So what is Copaiba? Well, it's actually a tree that grows in the Amazon and all of Young Living's Copaiba comes from Brazil. And the way that you get this essential oil is kind of unique because the bark of the copaiba tree is wounded allowing the sap or the resin to seep out and then that resin is steam distilled to, to obtain the essential oil now if this sounds familiar it's probably because that's the same way that frankincense is obtained uh, frankincense essential oil and also that is how uh, myrrh essential oil is also obtained so um, this method is used with other oils uh, once you get the essential oil copaiba essential oil it has a mild sweet aroma um, very mild. Sometimes it's even hard, so faint that it's hard to detect the aroma whenever you're just smelling the bottle, but it's there. Um, okay, so uh, all of the essential oils are made up with many constituents, but oftentimes you'll find that there's a prominent constituent. Um, so in Young, in, uh, Young Living's Copaiba, the main constituent is beta caryophylline. It contains anywhere from 39 to 72% beta caryophylline. Now, I highly encourage you to research this molecule. I'm going to, again, in the, in the, in the comments below, I'm going to type out that because it's a long, complicated word. Um, but go ahead and do your own research on that molecule and see what you can find. I will tell you that it is a sesquiterpene. Does that, doesn't that help, knowing it's a sesquiterpene? <laughs> What's a sesquiterpene? So a sesquiterpene is a very large molecule, and it evaporates very slowly. So if you have your Copaiba bottle open, um, then uh, the, the molecules aren't going to evaporate quickly. As a matter of fact, they're going to hang out kind of on the rim, um, on the rim of the bottle. And so... Um, what happens is it will react with the oxygen in the air. It will oxidize and it will become resinous. So if you're using your Copaiba, you just want to wipe off um, the, the edge of the bottle so it doesn't become resinous and your cap doesn't get sticky and crusty and hard to get off. All right, so that's one tip with Copaiba. All right, um, this sesquiterpene, beta caryophylline supports a healthy inflammatory response which is great if you know what that means, but what's a healthy inflammatory response? All right, so I'm gonna super oversimplify it for you today. Okay, so when our body is invaded by something foreign, 
based on what it is, based on how it enters and where it enters, um, it may trigger our body's immune system to go into action. And there are a couple of things that can result. One of the things that can result is our body can send certain types of white blood cells to this foreign thing, um, and it can trigger our immune system, all right? And it's gonna, and, and those, those blood cells are gonna go and they're gonna engulf and digest whatever this thing is, all right? It also, our immune system may, um, may send certain types of cells that secrete antibodies that help to attack this foreign thing, whatever it is. And then sometimes a cascade of events occurs and this leads to an inflammatory response. And so when this happens, we have these cells that are called mast cells and they create histamines. Um, maybe you've heard of antihistamines, people taking antihistamines. Okay, well antihistamines are trying to block these histamines produced by the mast cells. Okay, so um, these histamines cause the blood vessels around them to become dilated, all right? And, and the blood vessels around this thing, this foreign thing to become dilated. And as a result, blood circulation increases, which is good because your body's trying to get white blood cells there um, to try to deal with it. All right. But think about it. With greater dilation, you're going to have more blood to the tissue, more blood entering the tissue. You're going to have redness because you have more blood. You're going to have swelling because there's more um, blood and, and fluid there. And this is gonna create pressure on the tissue and the surrounding nerves, and that's gonna cause discomfort. And this immune response will continue until this foreign thing, whatever it is, is eradicated. And you know, sometimes our body gets confused and it may mistakenly even um, think that something is foreign and dangerous even when it's not, all right? So um, the reason I tell you about the uh, our um, uh, inflammatory response is because the beta caryophylline that is found in the um, copaiba essential oil helps to support our body and helps to support our immune system in its efforts to maintain a normal and healthy inflammatory response. Okay, so when Young Living gets the essential oil that it, it steam distills out of this copaiba resin, it bottles it in two different ways, all right? Um, it can bottle it in a bottle that says copaiba, and Young Living will bottle it in a, in a bottle that says copaiba, copaiba vitality. And so the difference between copaiba and copaiba vitality are the suggested uses on the label. So we're going to go through the suggested uses of each of these bottles. So copaiba um, is to be used either aromatically or you can use it topically. So you can diff you can diffuse it to enjoy its sweet its mild sweet aroma, um, and you can also use it to support healthy respiratory function by diffusing it. You could also massage it directly onto your skin, or you could use a carrier oil such as V6 or olive oil or coconut oil, and you could massage it into your joints or your muscles. You could also apply it topically to your knuckles. All right, so these are just some ways that you can use copaiba topically. Now, copaiba vitality is labeled for internal use. So you could add it to water. You could gargle with it that way. Actually, that's a very popular Brazilian practice. You could mix it with honey and kind of just let it um, rest on the back of your throat. That is a common practice by Peruvian natives to use copaiba in that way. For children, you could rub it on their gums um, to support healthy oral um, health and to support a, a natural inflammatory response. You could also put it in a vegetable capsule. Young Living sells these little empty veggie caps, um, but you can also find them at health food stores um, or like a natural grocery store. And it's just going to support overall wellness by using it that way. It's going to help, help support a healthy inflammatory response. It's going to support our excretory system, which includes our urinary tract. It's going to support circulatory system, um, our circulatory system. And it's going to, here's a fancy word, it's going to support our integumentary system, which is a really fair, fancy way of saying our skin and our nails and our hair. And so knowing that, um, it kind of makes sense what products we find copaiba in. So we find copaiba in 
deep relief. All right, remember it supports musculoskeletal um, function. I'm sorry, our musculoskeletal system. So deep relief is wonderful for massaging into your, I, like, I usually use it around my neck muscles or along my spine, um, but deep relief contains copaiba. Another um, roll-on, we have a couple of roll-ons at Young Living that contains copaiba is breathe again. Remember I said it supports um, healthy respiratory function, so it makes sense that we would find it in breathe again. It also is found in Stress Away. This is also a premium starter kit um, oil, by the way. Stress Away, it tastes like, it tastes like, it smells like a vacation in a bottle. It's fantastic to wear topically or diffuse. It has like a lime, vanilla um, aroma to it. And I see that this is a pretty popular one. And then remember I said that really fancy word, integumentary system, our hair and our skin and our nails? Well, that's why Young Living came out with a Copaiba Vanilla um, Moisture moisturizing shampoo. This is a very moisturizing shampoo. As a matter of fact, um, it was a little too moisturizing for my very fine hair, but my son uses it and he smells like a dream when he comes out, my little boy, um, when he comes out of the shower because he uses his Copaiba Vanilla Moisturizing Shampoo. So, um, and another thing I love about the Young Living shampoos is that they contain no sodium lauryl sulfate, all right? So it doesn't have that foaming agent that, that gives you a false sense of clean, and it contains no propylene glycol. So go read your shampoo um, ingredients, and um, you know what's in it is just as important as what's not in it. Yeah, try it for curly hair. I think that um, you may be you may be happy with that. Okay, um, so I hope that you learned something new. You are welcome to share this information. Um, and like I said, I'll put those links and those words in the comments below so that you can do your own research and learn more. Like I said, my goal is to empower you so that you have the information that you need so that you can make the decisions in supporting your family's health and wellness. All right, go have a great night and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you. Bye.